Let's get Brian Madden's uh, take on this. He's, of course, our featured guest of the morning. What's your take on Rogers Communications as, as, a, as a stock, one of the big three incumbent telcos? Yeah, Paul, Rogers is not one of the telcos um, that we own. We do uh, own the other two, uh, two big ones, but um, you know, no particular quarrel with Rogers. It is going to be a bigger and stronger company now that it's acquired Shaw Communications. Uh, and no real surprise that they've divested the Kojiko stake. So they had held this for a long time, you know, I want to say probably almost 20 years. And for a long time, there was speculation that they would be the logical ultimate buyer of Correct. Kojiko when the Oday family wanted to sell. Uh, obviously, they can't do that now because they have acquired Shaw Communications, so they don't need the blocking, um, you know, stake in the company. They do need to deleverage. The case that they pose noted as a very logical buyer, you know, with extensive involvement in Quebec companies, large and small, including in the media sphere where they mm -hmm. own. Uh, in partnership with Quebec or Videotron for quite a period of time. So um, it's good news for Rogers. It's deleveraging them. They're a strong credit anyway, but uh, deleveraging is certainly um, an imperative for companies large and small in this high rate, um, slowing economy environment. What do you think of these stocks? They are dividend payers, obviously. They've, been, they've suffered because of the rate environment. Uh, all three of them have rallied somewhat as, uh, as uh, uh, bond yields have come down and perceptions are that the Fed and the Bank of Canada will cut rates. Well, we like them, Paul, and not just because they are interest rate sensitive, although that does play into our thinking. There's been very much a baby thrown out with the bathwater effect for dividend payers this year um, for two reasons. One, because there was a straight up mania in uh, all things AI and technology at the start of the year. That's broadened out and there's been wider enthusiasm for different kinds of stocks in the second half of the year. But the other headwind for dividend payers is that uh, in many ways, they're competing with the cash and the GIC markets in a way that they haven't in the last 15 years. When GICs yeah. pay 5%, yeah. a telecom that pays 55 or 6 is just not as compelling as it would be when cash pays 1% and GICs pay 2 So we think um, those headwinds have very likely come to an end, and we should see a nice free rating upwards in uh, many sorts of dividend pairs. And telcos particularly so because, um, you know, they really are um, non-cyclical and they represent needs and not wants for mm -hmm. households and businesses that are their clients.